And now for your starting lineups. At a forward for Cedar Rapids Regis, number 45, Mike Sheely. For Hampton, number 34 is Lon Hand. Number 33, Gary Bodiker. Number 30, Todd Helskoff. At the centers, number 51, Dave Thinnis. And number 44, Dan DeVries. At the guards, number 23, Brian Donnelly. Number 22, Doug Hand. Number 21, Mike O'Connell. And number 10, Phil Jorgensen. The head coach for the Cedar Rapids Regis Ball Club, Dick Breitbach. For the Hampton Bulldogs, Dave Hanneman. The truth is here. All champions in the circle right now, and a champion to tell you about it, Mark Zelitz. And the tip is controlled by the men in white, the red and black of the Hampton Bulldogs, and their predominantly white uniform. Jorgensen deep in this near side corner. They come from the outside, however, on that shot attempt by Lonnie Hand. That answers the question about tournament tight or tenseness uh, or butterflies in the tummy. They hit the first shot they took. It's not so Connell handling it to Sheely over on the far side. The shot attempt is by Donnelly. Tove on the missed. They come down quickly. That's Donnelly feeding off on the far side. And bango. Went over Washington. 55 rebounds. First time ever for Hampton. Third trip to state for Regis. Jorgensen's 24-foot bomb. The follow-up by DeFries. Donnelly and got the rebound. Jorgensen passing off the baseliner. Hellscope drops it for DeFries. Beautiful assist by Hellscope. Four points for DeFries on a couple of baskets. Eight to six for the even out there. And hats off to our cameraman giving us some great shots. Look at that. Sheely. Great shots. At Des Moines. Eight and eight. 315 left to go. Lonnie Hand. Four points for Lonnie. Put two senior. Just checked into the lineup for Regis. This is Sheely. Perfect. We're at 12 and 10. Regis has not led the ball game, but it's been tied four times. Last time at eight. That's DeFries inside. Sheely partially blocked by Jorgensen. Jorgensen leading the bust out. Tries to pass underneath. Beautiful to hand. Oh, great. Here we go, and he was fouled. If you want to see what an assist is, look at this pass by Jorgensen. High alley-oop just right in there to Doug Hand. Doug Hand, what a move to the inside. Back with the English. Caroms off, goes in, and the crowd gave a roaring big hand to Doug Hand. That was an effort. It was. O'Connell caught him across the shoulder just as he was going, and as a result, he has a chance for a three-point play. His first three uh, of the game this evening is averaging five and averaging about seven so far in the tournament. Doesn't get it. On quickly, Sheely leading it. The spread now is eight, the biggest lead of the night. Boddicker, Danny. Good shooter. A minute, five seconds left to go. Backcourt foul. They call it against Mike Caliban, who's in, uh, giving Regis the bonus. Only two team fouls. Hampton, as you can tell, is in the bonus, but they're not making it count, with the exception of DeFreeze. Under a minute left to go. Caliban. Dropping it inside, dug away. Nice larceny by Jorgensen. Quick hands over to Lonnie Hand. He gives it to Helsko. Jorgensen alertly checked to see if the fast break was there. He realized it wasn't. Jorgensen with the fake. Gets around Downey, lets it fly. That was so perfect, the net hung up on the rim. Give him four. Behind is Abbas. You can take a look at it right here. Jorgensen with an awful good move. Baseline fade away behind the head. Zap. Right to the bottom of the net. For Hampton, as we wind it down to the quarter, 30 seconds left. This is O'Connell moving in on the iron. The rebound inside. Picked off nicely by Hellscove. He needs help, and he's not getting it. Finally gets it up court into the hands of Jeff Klein. Oh, the spread is eight for the second time. Biggest lead of the night enjoyed by Hampton. Hellscove. His first basket. And it comes at the end of the first quarter. With the score, Hampton 22, Cedar Rapids Regis 12. That's DeFries, number 44. The tip, however, by Finnis. Fine leap, slaps it into the hands, and Regis controls. Sheely pumps. Perfect. Uh, Frosty enjoying the basketball game. I wonder if Hayden ever played any basketball. 
He is going to make his statewide TV debut here. Oh, great. Jorgensen gives Hampton that 10-point spread for the second time. That's three baskets from this kid. He's just a pure shooter. That's all there's to it. Hampton, first time ever in the state tournament, first time they ever won their conference. This team's record best ever. Caliban, Sheely on the follow-up. Look of excellence taking part. Helskov trying to work around, goes inside to DeFreeze against Thinnis. Beautiful. I think Hampton is having their best half of the tournament. 12 points for DeFreeze, 26-16 by 10 for the third time. Hampton. Donnelly. No way. DeFries gets the rebound. Bust out to Hand, but Hand's going to hold it up. They prefer that discipline type of basketball as a technical <laughs> in one ball game. People get a little excited, huh? And the free throws for Jorgensen. That's the second time he missed. That's a front end of a one and one. Five and a half left till intermission. This is Sheely. He's kept Regis in it so far. That's Donnelly missing. The rebound going to Lonnie Hand over to brother Doug. And again, they let their people get set up as... Doug Hand moves west here. Hampton from the free throw line, with the exception of DeFries, can't buy one. Everybody has missed from the free throw line who's tried except DeFries. He's the only one to hit the free throws. He's been perfect. Caliban got a hunch, gets a bunch. Was 10 on three separate occasions. Jorgensen trying to move in. Nice move. Beautiful move. 28 to 20. Underneath the thinnest, lost it, retrieves it, and misses it. Gary Boddicker misses it. Thinnest. They get three cracks at it, and Thinnest comes up with the water. Hey, but Regis is very much in it. 28 22. We're early. 3.50 to go. We're in the second frame. Double A championship. Aren't you glad you came? Jorgensen. <laughs> that was with the left hand. Well, he used the wrong hand, but I bet you the coach will accept the points. Used the wrong hand, got it done right. 30-22, 3.35 left to go. That's Donnelly handling on the far side. The shot attempt is not any good by Caliban, but he fights for another one, and Finnis cleans up. Play uh, of uh, play just a moment ago. You watch him come around there. That's Jorgensen going uh, to his right side with his left hand and uh, made the bucket. Now the coach would tell you, working against Abbas, goes inside. Downey going over to freeze and gets it. Individual scoring leader right now in the tournament, DeVries for double A with 54. Jorgensen has 44. The difference is four. That was Downey's first basket of the night. Jorgensen inside to DeVries. Goes to the left, up with the right. It won't fall, and the foul is going to be called on Downey. The space. Consolation in this double A is to be decided tomorrow afternoon between Pella and Storm Lake, the other two members of the final four. Now DeVries can't hit it, Mitch. Well, at halftime, I think they're going to run down, down to the Y and shoot free throws. That was the play. Helskove triggering it in. A lot of problem handling it by Jorgensen. And he was hacked by Sheely. 3% on the season, not tonight. Lonnie Hand has just checked back into the lineup. He replaced uh, Abbas. That's a change for Hampton. Minute 47. Jorgensen gets what? That's his first free throw. Third time he's had a crack at the one and one the first time he's hit. Relief when that finally fell in. He thought give, he was snake bit. Give him 11. Still is. Nader of physical education at Marshall Hound High School. 14 years officiating. Downey trying to get inside. Gives to Sheely. Sheely over on the far side. To, uh, Downey, no. Sheely gets the rebound. He goes up. No, but a foul is going to be whistled on the shot. DeFreeze. Sheely, 60% from the line. The number two scorer, as I said. Fine all-around player, a lefty. And now he has a little trouble. He had 28 points against Eddie Colbert's Dubuque Waller Triple-A team this year. Averaging 12 and a half, but not in the tournament. Averaging about eight in the tournament. So he gets the far end of that two shot and goes to 11 points. It's 31-27. It's down to four. There's the press, the pass to hand. And he's double teamed and fouled by Sheely. The last time he was up there on a one and one. So he lets out the excess air and puts it up. Fine golfer this Storm Lake in the semifinal. Would you believe a three point great average also? Plays football, plays baseball, and he plays basketball. Give him four. So Hand uh, has taken the personal lid off from the free throw line anyway. 33 27. It's six. We're down to 46 and counting. That's Donnelly giving to O'Connell. 
left a hand, and he tries a desperation shot, which wouldn't have counted had it hit. That's the end of the first half with the score. Hampton 33, Cedar Rapids Regis 29. We'll be back after this word from your local station. At the score, 33-29, Ham start the second half the way we opened the first half, Mitch. Just anybody's ball game, but boy, the season is getting down to 16 minutes for a state championship. One of three parochial public matchups uh, that we've got in all three classes. Go, uh, Mark. As Hayden Fry might say, we're getting down to the nub you. of the problem. Fine fellow. All right. The shot attempt is by O'Connell, and the rebound is picked off by Lonnie Hand. He gets up to Brother Dog, and Brother Dog waits for the troops to catch up. Just underway in the third. Hampton with the lead is led throughout. Been tied four times the last time. Oh, was oh. Eight, DeFreeze. I think all he wanted to draw the foul on that. He got two points instead. Sheely. DeFreeze got a hand on it. They kick it around. Sheely again. And they whistle a foul against Hand. Alani Super Hand. circle nearest the Hampton basket. DeFreeze takes the tip to Jorgensen, who taps it to Doug Hand. Far side corner to Helves Cove. Temporarily open. And give him four points. Two field goals to go as the ball is brought up into the front court. O'Donnell, or rather Donnelly, hard. Rebound to Thinnis, pumps it out. Here comes O'Connell, he lost it. Retrieved by Sheely and he gets the basket. Gazette said, if they're the running Regals at Iowa City, these are the racing Royals in Cedar Rapids. Beautiful pass by Doug Hand to DeFreeze. DeFreeze gets the easy one, he has 16. Bounds to Hampton, Hells Cove. Reed just gone to full court pressure, Mark. Be the uh, trigger man, gets it in to Jorgensen, who moves easily into the front court, moves the baseline, passes off to DeFreeze. He puts it up. Will they count it? No. Apparently not fouled before by Thinnis. So we obviously will not have the free throw. You take a look at number 51. He's the man that they say was guilty of violation here. He backed up uh, that time. Right. Uh, up with it is Donnelly. It's going to go all the way. Yep. Shoots over Jorgensen. Doesn't get it. The fadeaway is good by Gary Boddicker. Four Super points effort. for Boddicker, 39-38. And if he hits the free throw, we've got a time ball game. But we'll have to wait. Now, gives it off in turn to O'Connell. O'Connell in turn to Thinnis. A bell ringer. 11 for Thinnis. And uh, for the first time tonight, Regis has the lead by one. Jorgensen tries to retake it. He does. Hey, we got a shootout right here at the OK Corral. Third period, Donnelly handling it out to O'Connell. Near side to Boddicker, unmolested. <laughs> Left. This is Doug Hand looking in at DeFreeze, drops it in there over Thinnis. And they'll call the foul on Thinnis. So all six, seven of them moves to the free throw line. And I'll tell you, that's three in a row he has missed after making his first four. And these two teams from the free throw line have been tight. Misses again. And it is a four-point lead for Regis. Coming all the way down is Hand. And Hand is, commits the personal foul. Offensive foul. If you want to see why basketball is now a contact sport, take a look at Doug Hand. Move into Tex Downey right there. Ow! Boys, he fell off your picture tube in your living room. He took a dump, and the foul was on him. Now has the momentum. Boy, has hit adrenaline pumping. Hampton has 17 free throw attempts. They make seven. Doug Hand. That's the guy that just took the spill. Six points for Doug Hand after he commits the larceny. He gets the bucket. It's 45-43. Regis leading by two. Gary Boddicker. A shot by, rebound by DeFreeze, up court to Jorgensen. He gets around O'Connell and no, no basket traveling. 